I planted a red maple 15 years ago wow. and it has never turned red in the fall. The Ooh. tag shows bright red and we bought it from a reputable arboretum. I tried using fertilizer stakes around the tree, but it did nothing to help. I've watered well and that didn't help either. The last couple of years, I just gave up and considered cutting it down and buying another. Why does my red maple not turn red in the fall? This is Wade in Cincinnati, Ohio. Interesting. Oh, wow. Right. 15 years. Oh my goodness. Right. Never turned red. Hmm. And, hmm. How about that? Never turned red in the fall. Well, there's a couple of things I would like to ask. Okay. Where is the plant in relation to other plants? Ah, so we're talking, Does it have, we're thinking is, about light? Is it getting enough light mm -hmm. to produce enough sugars okay. that when the temperatures fall and they get trapped in the leaves that mm -hmm. they will, you know, produce the red color? Okay. That was a question I would have. Um, the other thing is the weather. I think fall color everywhere is dependent on the weather. Oh, you know, doubt. if we get a, they, a nice cool temperature and then a warm day and a cool temperature at night, that's going to trap the sugars mm -hmm. in the leaves, which causes the beautiful colors. Yes. So, but, and again, again, if it's too cold, I mean, yeah, if you get a cold snap, it's really, really it drops cold. below zero. And sometimes the, it, it just freezes the, yeah. the sugars and they just, the leaves don't turn and mm -mm. they fall off. Mm -mm. It's just going to cut it off. Yeah. Um, so I would like to know what his weather pattern was. Right. He needs to look at that. And, you know, if he does plant another one, I, I don't know if I would plant the same thing in, in the same space if it's not being successful there for this many years. Maybe he needs to try a different location for Maybe. it. Maybe. That yeah. would be my thought too. I would probably consider a different location, you know, for sure. Uh, first and foremost, I, we're hoping it's the right tree. Yes, that, right. that is right. true. Yeah, when I looked at it, you know, thought about it, I hope it's the right tree, number one. Number two, I have a problem with fertilizer stakes. Oh, Right, yes. okay. So the thing with the fertilizer is this, do, do we know the soil pH, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. These fertilizer stakes, you get them too close to the roots, it can burn the roots, that can stress the tree. Yeah. Right. And then thirdly, yeah, environmental conditions. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are the things that I think about. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, maybe another tree in another location, maybe. Or oh, the right tree in another location. Yeah. I think he might be okay. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. To subscribe, click below.